I am so terrible at doing these voiceover things, guys. And I'm telling you, it seems really easy, but it's not. I actually tried to originally record myself um, by turning on the sound or the, the voice recording option when I was doing the screen recording on my iPad. But after listening to it, I didn't like it. So here's me redoing it. Uh, previously, I've already done the mesh shorts mock-up video or how to design mesh shorts, but I did that in Photoshop and Photoshop can be a little bit more difficult to use and harder to get your hands on, more expensive. It's a lot simpler if you have an iPad and the Procreate app. So I'm going to go ahead and do it in Procreate. If you need access to the actual mock-up, there is a link in the description for the video. You can go ahead and click, go to the website and get that mock-up. And it comes with multiple files. It does come with a file for Photoshop, so you can work in that if you want to. But it also comes with a very high quality PNG file that you can drop directly into Procreate and work from there. So what I'm just doing is I'm gonna click on import. I'm just gonna search for it because I, of course, I already have it downloaded. You see I have all these folders. I don't know which one it is. Let's just click on one. All right, so it comes with the front and back or multiples of the backs. Very realistic. You see it's kind of wrinkled. So I'm just gonna click on the front one and import it. Now, with this, this particular one, um, a lot of times, if you want to design directly on the shorts, I don't suggest it, but if you want to design directly on the shorts, you can go ahead to that layer and click on it, and then you can change the setting and turn it to alpha lock. So you just come down here, you click on alpha lock, right? And that'll make it so that whenever you draw on the shorts, the drawing will not will only go within the lines of the shorts, right? But this particular mock-up, it does not have a background. It's just the shorts. And I really don't suggest drawing directly on the shorts, and you'll see why later. So what I do is I personally, um, I like to just make another layer on top of it, and then I'll show you what to do so that you can basically make whatever design you make fit seamlessly on top of the shorts. But just as a demonstration, when you go ahead and put that alpha lock on for the shorts, you can just go ahead and draw directly on them. And then as you see, it stays within the lines. But as you can see, that also looks really crazy. It defeats the purpose of having a realistic mock-up like that. You can't show that to your customers because it's gonna be like, what is this, right? So you make a second layer. The way that I like to do it is I just like to go ahead and throw a design on there. I usually just use a bunch of colors and use the settings within Procreate to go ahead and come up with the design. So I'm just throwing a bunch of random stuff on here. Um, it usually tends to come out pretty cute to me, but obviously this is mostly for a demonstration. So just throwing some pink and green there because I like pink and green. Blue is always fun. Add a little green to tie it off, right? Cool. Now I'm just gonna go over here and click on Gaussian blur or however you say that, whatever. And just kind of play with that a little bit until I get to get till I get it to a point that I want. And then I'm going to go down here and choose liquify. Um, it's a bunch of different options here. I already have it set to push. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one. Um, but I like to use the twirl right and twirl left as well. But you can play around with it and see what you like best. So I'm just moving this around here. And I just do that for a bit until I kind of like get the colors where I want them to be. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Like I said, it's for a demo, but I think it still is kind of fire. So you're going to go here to this layer, click on it, and then you're going to choose clipping mask, right? And that's going to make it so the design is only, only the parts where the shorts are is where the design is. But it looks like it did earlier when we just drew directly on the shorts. So what you have to do is you have to change the setting on the actual layer. So that little end that you see on the layer, you need to go ahead and click that and scroll all the way over to multiply. Now you can go through and see what the other settings do, but multiply is the one that blends the best. You can also change the opacity as needed. Um, I like to keep it on max. And as you can see, it looks very, very realistic. You can zoom all the way in and you can still see that it looks like a pair of shorts. You see the details, right? It's still the shorts. The design is directly on the shorts. And this is a good way to demonstrate how it'll actually look. You can actually even use this on your site so like instead of having to take multiple pictures of every pair of shorts that you have, you can literally put your design, all your different designs on this one pair of shorts. That'll make sure that it's showing up uniform on your shop. 
you can use it to basically um, kind of like test out designs and show them to your audience or whatever and see how they're feeling it. If they feel it, if they're feeling it, you can go ahead and send it over to your manufacturer and be like, yeah, so go on this one. Or just kind of like, you know, do service. Hey, you guys like this better. You like that better. You can also use it to design the shorts and send over to your manufacturer so they can see exactly how you want the shorts to be set up. Make sure you let them know which part of design is supposed to be screen printed, etc. But that's another time for another video. Right now, I'm just looking for, I have a specific font that I want to use. You know, I like to go ahead and put the little oasis on the front of the shorts, but I cannot find it. So we're just going to use anything. Okay. Right color into uh, the text. So all you have to do is go over, click that white, drag over into one of the letters, right? There you go. And then just click continue filling at the top, right? And then it'll let you just click on each one in turn and it'll just fill it in. Just makes your life a whole lot easier. And I think it works better than the other color fill option. I don't know, it's probably the same thing, but whatever. And you can do the same thing for this layer as well. Now, as you see, multiply gets rid of the white color. So you just kind of have to go through and um, choose the setting that works best. Soft light is gonna end up being the best one, but I always go through all of them again, just for the heck of it. It looks like it's actually a part of the shorts, right? So here we are, we're just gonna duplicate that. And then just to make it a little, yeah, I mean, it's still kind of light to me personally. I'm gonna do it one more time. Just add one more layer. And maybe I can merge these layers together. See, that looks better. Maybe I can merge them together. Merge down. Uh, no. So merging it down just turns it back into the original layer. So let's undo that. But there you go. That's basically the end result. That's it. Um, if you guys found this information useful, please, please go ahead and like the video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Um, if you want the mock-up, the link will be posted below and I'm going to go ahead and add a discount code. It'll be good for 24 hours only. And thank you. Have a good one.